Organizations have not usually made the most of the data they have around their own people. Uh, as customer facing businesses, we're usually pretty good at understanding our customers, their needs, their preferences, their wants and their desires, but we haven't used and put the same resource behind that to actually understand our employees. Today, a lot of organizations survey their employees once a year. However, in the future, with enabling technology and new advancements, employers will be able to get a real-time pulse check to understand the sentiments of employees with their thinking and feeling on a more regular basis. Some of the most innovative thinking we've seen in this space and some of the most creative usage of analytics that we've seen in our clients takes into account not just your traditional things like engagement and performance management, but looks at things like calendaring and invitations and travel management and time away from work and, and length of service and compares a whole multitude of things that either are very obvious or in some cases not obvious to help identify things like turnover and retention and high performers. Most of the workforce analytics that we do today is looking back and describing what happened. If we move away from just backwards looking analytics, the leading HR organizations are really looking at forward looking either prescriptive analytics and predictive analytics. The more that we can preempt what somebody wants, the better experience someone's going to have in an organization. So it's all those little steps and HR analytics and the underlying data structure behind it means that we're going to have a huge amount of information about people, but we're really gonna be able to do something to make the world a better place to work in. Is the area of opportunity that HR functions need to follow through on. They are all investing in better cloud solutions. The opportunity then is to connect the data they get from their, their cloud HCM solution with data from other parts of the business. And that's when they can start to answer questions that the business really wants answered, like how can we drive greater team performance? Or how can we drive greater customer retention? or you know, how can we drive greater profit per employee?